Hi, I'm Sarah and I'm making a recipe today that Isabel Jackson shared with me and they're called Pani Popo. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correct, um, otherwise known as Samoan coconut buns. Apparently it was originally from a Samoan tradition of buying a packet of freshly made bread rolls and dipping them into sweetened coconut cream. So in a bowl I'm going to put two cups of plain flour. We will be using some more of this flour, so I'll just keep this out. Half a teaspoon of salt, 25 grams of either butter or table spread, whatever you use. I've just softened that up a little bit, because it just seemed like the right thing to do. I wasn't sure if I was meant to. <laughs> One and a half tablespoons of sugar. One and a half teaspoons of yeast. I just use the um, bread maker's yeast. And one cup of warm water. I'm just using um, warm tap water. You may need another half of cup of water. We'll see how this goes. We want to mix this all together until it forms a nice glossy batter. It should be thicker than cake batter type consistency but not quite dough ball. Now to me, this is, this is getting into dough ball territory. So I'm just going to add that, that extra half a cup of warm water. I would say that's about the right consistency there. So I'm going to put a lid on that or just use cling film, tea towel, whatever it is you use. I use a microwave dish because <laughs> it fits my big bowl nicely. I'm going to leave that for about two hours or until it's about doubled in size and I'll show you what to do next. Now in the meantime I'm going to start making the sauce or the glaze for this. I think it starts off as a sauce but the longer you actually leave the buns the more it congeals and becomes more like a glaze. Either way the yummy stuff. So I've got one can of coconut cream. There's 400 mils in here. I have to confess, I've never, I've never tasted coconut cream before. I've used coconut milk. Oh, yum. That's really yummy. Reminds me of a bounty bar. I'm meant to add half a cup of sugar. I'm a bit skeptical. Is that going to be a bit too sweet? I'm going to put a quarter of a cup in and once I've mixed it all together I'm going to taste and report back. Two tablespoons of flour, that empty can, I'm half filling that up with water, putting that in. So I'll give that a good mix. I'm going to cheat and use my mixers. I'm just going to go taste and decide if it, if it does need a bit more sugar. Mm, maybe I'm just going to put like another tablespoon of sugar in there. Go with your own personal taste. If you want to add that full half cup, that would probably be yummy. Right, that is looking lovely and bubbly. So obviously this is still reasonably runny-ish. About a cup of flour, form a nice little cushion, a bit of flour on my hands, These things are about to get messy in here. Now, to play a game of sort of lifting and folding and putting flour all over yourself. <laughs> This dough is just lovely and soft and stretchy. You sort of just want to keep kneading it until it's no longer sticky. So add a bit more flour if you need to. Okay, so that is nice and non-sticky. Now generally, the, you don't want to add too much flour if you can help it, or you don't want to add more flour than what you actually need. Generally, the more flour you add, the less soft your bread rolls will turn out. So we're going to roll this out into a nice big long wormy. We 
going to chop this up into 12 pieces. So, I'm going to do it in half. Put a bit more flour on this chopping board because it's getting a bit sticky again. I've seen a couple of different ways of doing this. One of them is making like spirals, but I think what I'm gonna do is how, how Isabel did them, which was like in knots. Once we've made them into 12 little wormies, then we're gonna knot them. So, just literally tie it in a knot like that. Press the ends together, and there we go. And then we're gonna put them. Put them in a tray, and you want a tray that's not just like an oven tray, you want it to have a bit of a lip because of course we've got this sauce that's going to go over. Okay, so I'm going to leave these for another 45 minutes to an hour. They should rise up again and then I will show you the next step. Okay, so they have risen up quite nicely. Excuse the mess, I'm just making pasta. Do you like my, uh, do you like my pasta drying rack? <laughs> Half of this sauce, I'm going to tip over these now. Right, so I'm going to put this in a preheated oven, 200 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes. And we'll meet you back here look at those so i am now going to tip the rest of that coconut cream sauce on top of those buns and i'm going to put them in for another 20 minutes as they're starting to brown on top of it i might just put it down to 180 uh, yeah about 180 degrees back into the oven you go I will see you in due course. They are looking absolutely yummy, yummy. I'm gonna let them cool down, put them out on the bench for five minutes, and then we will have a taste. Will you look at that? Oh, yummo. That looks, oh, you can see the sauce is just. Some of it seems to have absorbed completely. Just by some of the smaller ones, it's still a little bit. Oh, look at that. Now, apparently, These, these are best served warm. <laughs> Look at that. These smell absolutely amazing. Oh my goodness. Smells so good. And they are so, so soft. They are like, they're like lovely clouds. <laughs> oh, yum. Mmm, let's go look at that sauce. That's beautiful. Oh, yeah. Um, why was I not raised Samoan? <laughs> if you're having someone over for like afternoon tea, coffee, that sort of thing, and, and serve up some of these, oh, wow, they are amazing. They are just so, so lovely and soft. The dough itself is so nice, but of course it's absorbed. It's absorbed all that lovely liquid. I actually wasn't sure it was because it was quite a lot of liquid that I poured over there, but um, no, if you look at that, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's absorbed just about all of it. There's just the odd little congealy bit like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Thank you, Taupo Budget Busters, for this awesome recipe. What do you reckon? Is it good? It's very amazing and yummy. Right. <laughs> Same to... with Sam. The same as Sam, amazing and yummy. Very amazing. Can you enlighten us further, Olivia? What do you reckon? I say yum. It's actually sort of sweet, mm. Mm. but it's not like stodgy or anything. Yeah, and it's, it'd be it's quite quite a nice light bun, isn't it? And yeah, it's really just the saucy stuff that's sweet. And the saucy stuff's kind of absorbed into the bun. I have three quiet children at the moment. Is it still nice and warm? Are they supposed to be eaten with butter? 
not, not really, no, they've got kind of a... Yummy flavour. Oh, a bit of cinnamon would go well with this. Oh yes, actually it would too. That is actually really nice. It really nice, is it? Very good. There we go, it is Clint approved and vanishing quick. Mm. <laughs> Hit like, leave a comment, Hit subscribe, visit our Facebook page, and we'll catch you next time. Bye.